Yeah, Metrolina greenhouses is actually bigger inside than those hangars where they build the 747s. It's even bigger than the Pentagon in Washington. These see-through greenhouse walls stretching for nearly two miles down a two-lane road. So how about a 50-year-old golden oldie to celebrate the golden anniversary of a success story that's homegrown in more ways than one? If you're picking out plants from Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart, you're also buying from America's largest greenhouse right here in Huntersville. We were growing about 300,000 mums for the fall and Lowe's said, do you want to grow a million of them next year? And we could have said no because there was a risk in doing that, but we said yes, and now we grow 10 million mums. In a building so big, it's not measured in square feet, but in square acres. From where you see to the end, between these poles, about an acre and a half. This one building uh, is about 50 total acres. Uh, we have about 200 total acres under roof at this uh, facility. It all started 50 years ago as kind of a mom and pop flower shop and nursery. My dad, his big goal was, hey, could I ever get to 12 acres, I'd be set to go. Today, Metrolina Greenhouses is still a family business, owned and operated by brothers Abe, Michael, and Art Van Wingerden, plus another brother and two sisters, all following in the footsteps of their Dutch immigrant parents, Tom and Vicky who came to America in 1971 with a green thumb, $5,000, and a vision that transformed their original hothouse into a future flower powerhouse. You know, our dad always said automate or stagnate. So he was very big into automation and what can we do to make the, uh, the jobs easier for people? Yeah, if you go out in the greenhouse, we're very automated in the things that we do. Metrolina Greenhouses invented the original version of this automatic transplant that nearly every big nursery business uses today. And once those individual plants are growing, they're moved hundreds, even thousands at a time by these overhead cranes to different parts of Metrolina's nearly 9 million square foot greenhouse. Then, of course, there's the water. run two to get the maximum pressure and then we also have the speed control. Grower Robin Statham shows us how it's all done with just the push of a button. And so if I wanted to speed it up and go 30. Today she's putting water on row after row of these still growing poinsettias. The watering system all computer controlled and the water itself well every drop is recycled rainfall from these giant greenhouse ponds. We pump about a million gallons of water a day on average here at Metrolina uh, in Huntersville, and about a half a million goes back to the pond. Any water that falls anywhere on the greenhouse, in the greenhouse, whether it's watering plants, parking lots, it doesn't matter, it goes, it goes back to a pond. Art Van Wingerden is co-CEO of Metrolina Greenhouses, overseeing its sustainability and technology. But not everything here at Metrolina is automated. Really getting that hand-on-hand -hand contact and taking the plant, looking mostly under the leaves. John Mogan is an assistant grower at Metrolina, and his boss is Chief of Horticulture, Ivan Chekharov. I don't think that will never change the human interaction with plants and nature. We still have people that have to go and manually check roots, check for insects, and it's growing too fast, it's growing too slow. So all those things that we, we are, we're the one actually doing and making those calls on a daily basis. Metrolina Greenhouses is also looking out for those smaller growers in the nursery business. Not pushing them out of business, but working with smaller growers to share Metrolina's growing success. Like a lot of the uh, mom and pop greenhouses or greenhouses that are 10 acres or smaller, what we've done with them is we find what they're really good at growing at. So Co-Chief Operating really Officer Michael Van Wingerden says they're just remembering their 50-year-old roots. Some people are really good at growing geraniums, others are really good at growing New Guineas, and we find that and find their niche and let them grow those for us. Growing for Metrolina means access to those big box stores that Metrolina supplies and all those big box shoppers. Plus those Metrolina trucks and trailers that transport 70 million plants a year 
right from the greenhouse to your garden center. And if you're shopping for plants on a garden center website at home, well, Metrolina will also ship plants right from the greenhouse to your house. At this peak season for moms, we're doing around 2,000 boxes a week. A lot of the smaller items we ship is multi-packs, so every item goes down the belt here. Uh, it gets cleaned, it gets sleeved, has a soil protector on it. It'll go into an insert and then go into that finished good box to help protect it. My biggest fear is gardeners not having success and not coming back next year. Co-CEO Abe Van Wingerden says that's why Metrolina also has acres of these outdoor trial gardens, where they do what most gardeners do in their home gardens. No special watering for the flowers here, just plant them to see what grows and what doesn't. People can buy a nice plant in a pot and we can make it look nice in the greenhouse, but if it really works for a consumer, it's when it works in the garden. How big is this plant gonna get? What do I need to do to it? You know, is it gonna change colors over time? Because here at America's biggest greenhouse, whether it's mums in the fall, poinsettias during the holidays, or these spring blossoms when the weather warms, they know that if they grow the best flowers, well, their 50-year flower business will keep growing too for the next 50 years. So it's that family business atmosphere we love. And we, we treat our employees like family. We built on because there's demand for what we're doing. Our goal is not to be the biggest. Our goal is definitely to be the best. All total, Metrolina sells over $350 million worth of plants every year to more than 1,400 stores. And they're building a second greenhouse down in South Carolina. But every morning at 9.30, the Van Wingerden brothers take a break to have breakfast with their mom, who still lives here at the greenhouse, in the family house, where it all started. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.